the next part of the struggle is we go into virtual machines and then we uh, click create virtual machine and we want to select local install media and we want to select the path and here it's uh, one is the reason why I'm saying this ahead of time is because we want to be in the slash area we don't want to be in the users so uh, let's do that because otherwise you'll, you'll get an error um, off the back that it won't work so to do that you'll go uh, to do two things go in terminal clear you don't have to do that but it just makes it easier to see and you want to uh, sudo go into sudo mode which is your elevated access you put in your uh, administrator password then you want to cd back out all the way to root which is like all the way up the tree uh, to your main branch like in the tree if that makes sense uh, so meaning your way up in your file structure as you saw here if we wanted to add a virtual machine it was in the slash you want to be somewhere up here so create a uh, directory so mkdir make dir make directory and you can, as you can see I did this before so I'm gonna do something similar but you know dash 3 for this demo dash 3 and I'm going to uh, do dir to see if it got created it did and I'm going to change directory into that so now I'm in there and there should be nothing in there and then next I'm going to download the uh, ISO for Ubuntu and for me I, I, the easiest way to do this was I opened up uh, Edge and from here I went to the Ubuntu download I click download Ubuntu desktop just like before and that's a supported version we'll get to pull the, ver the latest version so we'll go similarly to what we've done on the host machine but we'll do as a virtual machine so we'll do download Ubuntu Ubuntu uh, desktop and it'll start downloading and we'll pause this we'll right click and we'll copy the download link Okay, and then we'll do wget and paste that download link and it should end in .iso, that's what you want. Click start and then it'll download uh, to your, uh, to that directory that you just made. So it'll take some time because it's, it's a, it's a 3.4 gig download. So I'll pause this video and let this finish. So this thing is downloading, so we can check by doing DIR again, and there it is. So now we do PWD to see where we are. We're in slash VM images. So we need to go here and then slash. And that should, so if we do this, slash this, this is the full path that we will install our VM from. So let's copy that, go back to virtual machines, and call this, um, you know, Ubuntu Docker Post uh, VM 2, because I already have one. So uh, I'll call it that, and, uh, and I can show you I can actually get there without copying. So I could do the slash, and then it will try to recommend me some things. So it was, um, I might have to either refresh. Okay, it was able to find it by me pasting it all. But if I were to refresh, it would give me that. So I'll show you what I mean. So by the VMs, three, and it'll see that that's the only ISO there. So if I click that, it will automatically change to know, it will somehow know that that is the Ubuntu 2204, which is what we need. And then we'll give it 55 or you know 
f yeah, 50 gigs should be good. And we'll give it 8 gigs of RAM. Again, you want to be at a reasonable amount to get enough power, but uh, but not taking too much of your total RAM of the host machine, because that would be bad. You don't want to have so many, you want to turn some off when, because you want to like stay around and underneath the total uh, RAM that the machine has. Okay, uh, so we'll start the VM. So create. It's running. And we get that same view that we saw before when we were installing the host machine. And we should see that it's being attached to the bridge. Okay? And if you don't see that, you will want to add a network interface. You might have to shut it off. So you probably have to install it first and then do this. Otherwise, uh, you want to uh, you want to attach this. So you want to do bridge. So I guess it it took some time and it started already. I didn't watch it, but I guess it was a timer saying that it'll start if I don't select an option. So let's see what option is selected. But I'll help explain uh, after installing this because we don't want to make any. I don't think we can change any network settings uh, while this is on. So let's just uh, run through the installation real quick. And I do want to warn that you don't want to change this during the install at all. Because that will break the install. I've had that happen to me. For some reason this is finicky. When I make when I do this drop down, it breaks. So don't don't break that. You can expand it, but that's like you can you can expand, but don't change this drop down right now. Okay, so start the install. Again, I'm in the same place. Continue. And uh, we'll do the third party installs because we might get some things that otherwise we wouldn't. And it didn't detect anything on the hard drive because it's uh, it's, it actually is empty now. So we'll just erase the disk and install Ubuntu. So install. And it's w giving us that warning. Uh, that you should have seen before. Uh, you click continue. Choose your time zone. Your name. I'm calling it the same as what I called it above. So Ubuntu. Uh, forgot what I called it. Oh, right. Ubuntu Docker. Oh, it's not a host. It's like, it's, I, I, was, I shouldn't have named it host, but it's okay. So Ubuntu Docker VM. Let's do for some consistency. Uh, and then do the username, which is password. Again, you should remember these. recommend clicking this view sometimes because even though you're like outside here you might be doing caps but inside here it might be in reverse and you might have to do the num lock if you're not seeing your numbers in your numbers so you might it might be in reverse on the VM for temporarily uh, okay And this will take uh, a minute again, so we'll we'll just let this uh, install. And while this is installing, uh, I wanted to go back from where I was. I would go here and go here. And when we're done installing, we don't want to make any edits while it's installing. We don't want to interrupt this installation. But just to sh so I skim over some things. Uh, you, if you're, you probably might want to auto start this. 
Oh, after it's done. And uh, installing, and then under under network interfaces, you want it to look like this. I, I honestly cannot remember because uh, how I did this, what it started with looking like. But after doing this setup, I didn't remember seeing this VNet 3 here. So I think this appeared by itself when I created this virtual machine. Uh, and I, I'm pretty sure it created this, uh, it attached it automatically. Uh, I don't remember doing any setup for this. It just happened on its own, as you saw. So um, it must have been, I'm, it must have saw in my network, the only thing that is working is my, um, is this. And, and I believe I was messing around uh, in the virtual machines and I created these two, which I, I did, I did, they don't work. All these, I don't think, are being used. The only thing I think is right is this one. Because that's the only one active. Nothing else is doing anything. So, um, so that, that, that's what it should look like. It should be on the same bridge that you created here. And it should do that automatically. Uh, and then later, you will when this is done installing, we'll run the ifconfig command. Uh, to check what IP address it is and we'll also need to install uh, the remote uh, tools with the exception of cockpit because we don't want to hog up the port 80 from from this uh, from this VM we want to probably keep that open for docker so we won't uh, install a cockpit on this um, but then again, cockpit uses port 9090. Uh, but for now, I just won't install it. Uh, I, I haven't, I haven't done, I haven't checked to see if that conflicts. But uh, uh, yeah, so I'll wait until that's done, and we'll go from there. But we will install RDP on Ubuntu. That we will install. It'll simplify instead of viewing in this uh, console. It's not. It's, it's too small. So we'll install RDP so we can uh, open that and uh, uh, it'll be like accessing a desktop. Okay, so we'll do that next. Okay, install complete. So we'll restart now this VM. So we'll go back here. We don't have to, it just looks cool. And I'll show some stuff. So we'll, uh, memory is kind of maxed out, so we'll restart it. Restored. So now it should be smart enough to boot from the hard drive. So we have zero activity right now. And then it's gonna go back up. And that's it for this video. We've successfully installed our virtual machine. And there we go. We have Ubuntu just like we have on our host machine. And if we break this, it it's uh it wouldn't be uh so bad because I guess you can see we can recreate it and we already have the image saved locally. So we could honestly turn this off and create another one. And I, we might be able to copy this as well. I'm not sure. But uh that that's that's that we have the virtual machine right now, so that's what we need. 
uh, and we can uh, in the next video we'll run the scripts that we need to do to set this up for remote management first and then I'll help set up Docker in another video.